Tinubu is criminal, unlawful president, summoned Fubora just to become a slave to APC, and his godfather, Nwike, Kenneth Okonkwo, shake the country. <laughs> Welcome back to Prospect Janet TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. According to Okonkwo, the meeting in Abuja on Monday was just used as a smoke screen to give directives to Governor Fubora on how he should become a servant to the All Progressive Congress APC and his godfather, yes, Wiki. Okonkwo added that the meeting is a, a testament to the fact that both the APC and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, have become threats to Nigerians' democracy. The Labour Party chieftain questioned why a PDP governor and, a, and PDP chieftain would go to the APC leadership to solve their political problems. He also called out President Tinubu for advising the parties to breach the country's constitutions in resolving the political crisis in River State. Taking to his account on the X platform on Tuesday night, Okonkwo wrote, there, there, there any Nigeria still in doubt? Is there any Nigeria still in doubt that APC and PDP have become an external a threat to our democracy and the rule of law in Nigeria. How can a PDP governor and a PDP chieftain go to APC leadership to find solution to their problems? How can a president of a country advise parties before him to breach constitutional provisions to solve political problems? This crop of politicians have turned Nigeria to a huge crime scene. Bora was simply someone to be given directives on how he should become a servant or a slave to APC and his godfather. Well, as far as this matter is concerned, the FCT minister have left PDP a long time ago. You understand? He's the only person who is in two uh, different political parties. I don't know how he's doing this. Is in PDP, is in APC, and he still want to take charge, you know, in these parties. The thing get as it be. Mwike is the only person who operates two political parties in Nigeria. And I don't even know why the APC, the PDP is keeping him this quiet, this long. What exactly they are hiding in PDP? All these things are happening and all that. Every day they go say, we, we, we go and all that. Till now, they have not taken any, any action against Mwike. Even the anti-party, whatever, you know, he has been practicing. Till now, they never take any action against him. The, the funny part of it, let me just pick this one when he talk. He say, how can two PDP chieftains? And the APC, who is their arrival, they settle matter for them. The matter gets as it be. These people should, if PDP is no longer in existence, they should let Nigerians, they should let Nigerians know that PDP is no longer functioning. And I still believe that they have, you know, their NWC. All this time, this crisis on ground, these people, they never shake body. PDP never talk anything, I keep quiet. Another person, another party member, call they call the settle matter. And what they say the matter when they go settle, you go favor now. You don't use in, in presidential uh, whatever, settle whatever you want to settle. And all this will still go back to the FCT minister favor. Meanwhile, the, the founder of Alibino Foundation, Jack Ebele, has shared insight from legal consultations on the River State crisis, highlighting two blue uh, options for the 27 lawmakers who decamped to the APC. 
He stated that the first option is that they could seek legal interpretation of Section 109, subsection IG, through a court process, and that the second option involves INEC conducting a fresh election. He, however, expressed a skepticism about the suggestion that the lawmakers return to the state assembly as APC members, deeming it constitutionally wrong. He attributed the president's decision in the resolution to being misled. He emphasized that the current status quo renders any actions carried out by these 27 lawmakers in the assembly illegal. So he said in an interview with TVC, I have consulted a lot of legal luminaries and there are only two options for the 27 lawmakers. Firstly, they have to go to court and get the court to interpret section 109, subsection 1G, get the court to interpret that. The other way is for INEC to conduct fresh election. It is laughable to say that they should go back to the state assembly as APC members. It does not make any constitutional sense. It does not even make political sense. And the president that I know was simply would wink into this kind of decision. As long as the status quo uh, that assembly is legal, I don't need to be a lawyer to know that you cannot obtain illegality with legality. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.